Dada, Desh Pandey Kaka's model of a house is done already? Yeah, I have finished it tonight itself. Is this a new project? Arre, you know we have a farm, right? On that farm, we are building a small house for Sunil Kaka. I mean, we are constructing two small rooms, a veranda in front and an open courtyard at the back side. You know that we have a dog Moti, right? <laughs> for him, we have a small kennel and a cow shed for our cows. And then we have to tile all this open space also. Dada, we will need plenty of tiles, isn't it? Yeah, you're right, dear. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we need plenty of tiles. But we have to find out the correct number, right? Now tell me, we have fenced up field. How much wire was needed for fencing? How did we find? Dada, we have to find out perimeter means sum of all lengths of all the sides. If we have to put a single fence, then we need wire equal to the length of a perimeter. If we have to put double fencing, then we need wire equal to the length of double perimeter. Yes, you're right. For fencing, we find perimeters but you have to cover complete space by tiling then we find area perimeter means outside boundary and area means the total inside space of that closed entity means we have to find area of this courtyard correct do you find area just like perimeter no 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 we use a different method to find area uh, okay, uh, we will take example of this courtyard. So, I have kept this board which I used in this model. Okay, now I have small pieces. I will cover the complete board by these small pieces. We call these tiles. Now, one small piece is one tile. Okay, now tell me what is the shape of this tile? It's a square, means all four sides are of same length. Ah, now tell me. How many tiles do you need? Mm, 16 pieces. Means area of this courtyard is 16 squares. Correct, correct. Can I count how many tiles we need for Moti's house? Yeah, sure. 4 tiles. That means area of Moti's house is 4 squares. Nice. Now can you find out area of cattle shed? 6 tiles. Means 6 squares. Yes, right. Dada, can I find area of this complete courtyard again? But using these red pieces? Sure. Let's find out. Dada, I only needed 9 pieces. How come I only needed 9 squares to measure the same courtyard? <laughs> First check if both the squares are same. No, the red square is larger than the yellow square. Correct. If you want to measure area of any surface, we have to use same unit. For example, for distance centimeter or meter, I mean, we had measured perimeter in centimeters, right? You remember, right? Yes. Ah, in the same manner, area is measured in square centimeters. I mean, see, one square centimeters means length of all four sides is one centimeter. Correct? Now, this is a square piece. Okay. So, this side is one centimeter. This side is one centimeter. This side is one centimeter. And this side is 1 centimeter. Now, the space covered by this one piece is 1 square centimeters. This yellow piece is smaller than the other pieces. It is small like the button of your shirt. <laughs> to measure the area of this courtyard in square centimeters, we need many such yellow pieces, isn't it? Not necessary. Every time we don't need many pieces. Let us do the same activity again, okay? Area of courtyard is 16 squares, 4 rows and 4 columns. Moti's house is 4 squares, 2 rows and 2 columns. Area of cow shed is 6 squares, 3 columns and 2 rows. Ah, so now when you put together everything, what do you think? 16, 4, 4. 4, 2, 2, 6, 2, 3. Dada, these are multiplication tables, ah. right? 4, 4 is a 16, 2, 2 is a 4, 3, 2 is a ah. 6. Means you have to multiply both sides. Correct. You followed. See, if you have to find area of any square plane, then measure its length and breadth and multiply. You will get area of the same. Let me measure this with a scale. 
this side is 10 centimeters and this is a square that means the other side will also be 10 centimeters so 10 into 10 means 100 100 square centimeters is the area correct now tell me what is the area of moti's house 5 centimeters means 5 multiplied by 5 means 25 25 square centimeters nice and of this cow shed 8 centimeters length and 5 centimeters breadth 8 into 5 that means 40 nice an area of this cow shed so now have you seen if you know multiplication then there is no need of these squares what we have to do is to take a scale measure its length and breadth and multiply you will find area now can you tell me the area of this book its length is 10 centimeter and breadth is 8 centimeter so area is 80 square centimeters so now if we have these square pieces then how many pieces will you need 80 good dada what is the area of this piece it does not look like a square <laughs> it's easy uh, huh. so now if this piece is big then either you divide into squares or in rectangles so like this is one rectangle this is one more and this is the third rectangle so now if we find area of these small rectangles and add them we will get area of this big plane hmm? tell me what is the area of this small piece this is the first rectangle this is the second rectangle and this is the third rectangle length of first piece is 5 centimeters and breadth is 3 centimeters means area is 15 square centimeters length of second piece is 4 centimeter and 3 centimeters means area is 12 square centimeters length of third piece is 10 centimeters and breadth 4 centimeters means area is 40 square centimeter means sum of all areas put together is 67 square centimeters correct but dada length and breadth of an actual house must be very big yeah right see now we have made a model of the house right so we measured all side in centimeters for an actual house we measure its length and breadth into meters so area will be in meter square correct <laughs> okay so now i think we will stop here i'm really very hungry uh, should we have lunch huh yes dada okay yes then we will do this afterwards what did we learn area of a square plane is measured in square centimeters or square meters do this activity there are different shapes draw such shapes in your notebook and find its perimeter and area using a scale you know tangram puzzle we have got seven different shapes from this find areas of all these different shapes i will show you area of this shape look area of this triangle is square four units we can make a square using all these seven pieces now make a square using all these pieces using centimeters scale measure its area and perimeter